It was another day on the job for Mike Helgren, an up-and-coming reporter at the CBS affiliate in Baltimore. He was covering the case of a man who assaulted a woman after a fender bender. And police really want to get this guy. That but look at what happened when they flashed the police sketch of the suspect. Police are on the hunt for the man resembling this sketch. Wait a second, look at these two faces side by side. See any resemblance? Not a chance. This is solved. This is no cold cake. That's the, <laughs> that's the magic admit, of television. You better be glad you weren't on the on the story. Yeah, because no they would have hauled you away. He needs some makeup. I know. I've got some to spare. If you DVR us, go back and it'll make all sense if you look at the piece. KTV has just learned the names of the four pilots who were on board the flight. They are Captain Sum Ting Wong, We Tu Lo, Ho Li Fook, and Bang Ding Ao biting the tire, puncturing it. The cop changed the tire, but when he returned, the bull mastiff cross again attacked his tire, again puncturing it. Another sergeant came to the officer's aid, but he too had his tire attacked and punctured. So an animal control officer was called in, but yes, he too had his tire attacked and punctured. The school CEO, Barbara Bird Bennett, also released a written statement today. She spoke of hoping for a very smooth and safe transition, and she plans to work on that throughout the summer. Be warned, police are on the lookout, and if you get a, a fine, it's unlikely you'll do that. AT&T store here in Houston were robbed at gunpoint because people knew that they were there with their cell phones and there were, there were a few people there. So I want people to be aware that if you decide that you're going to come out and wait in line, you got to take that into consideration. Hello, and I rushed over here from MetLife doing the game with John, the Jets-Bucks game, because you guys announced this morning that who, what other artists are going to be joining Bruno Mars during the halftime show. So I'm excited to hear about that. Hopefully I can meet them and Straight next time, can you tell me to wear a little sunscreen? This is from Jets Box. Are you joking? Un darba zonās un vietās metāliskās skavas. Pakaš. An den tiefer gelegenen Gebieten ist etwas rüber geschwappt ist. Im Moment hofft man hier in Norddeich, dass der Wind so lausch bleibt, wie er im Moment ist und vor allen Dingen, dass er weiterhin aus südwestlichen Richtungen weht. Denn dann kann der Ebbstrom, der jetzt inzwischen eingesetzt hat, ungehindert in die Nordsee abfließen. I think with this crowd, one of the best atmospheres in college football, and the defensive line, defensive tackles and defensive ends that Clemson has, they get enough pressure on Jameis Winston, <laughs> maybe he makes a mistake, and I think Clemson wins the ball game. Oh. What is going on behind you, Paul? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hey, the bucket. Hold on, bucket. No, you uh, no, 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 Een overzicht uit de kranten dan. This is Prime News. First at 5:30. Kia ora, good evening. More Harry. Time. Harry time. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you and where is he? <laughs> Thanks, James. Well, um... Auda lishan al maghribi haithu nadhama amas marsadu hamayti al... Good evening, I'm Oprah. Anything coming up on OWN we should know about? Uh, it's a great season for OWN. Tonight's the big finale for the have and have not. Transfer. <laughs> oh! oh! Larry hung up on Oprah. That's not a valid extension. You know what? This is so I had had enough of her. Here with us this morning. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Um, It'd be yeah. nice to be out there right now. Oh, well, the studio had a little bit of a ruckus. <laughs> we'll have to see what that's about. Oh, wow. Whoa. Wow. Uh, um, oh. okay. <laughs> wow, don't you love how the wind can just change directions like that at the drop of a hat? Anyway, ITD officials say 
do not drive in this. It is incredibly dangerous. Oh. <laughs> oh. There has been a lot of uh, interest in the goal. And the Gold Suns, and they are going to start favourites. His game plan is to use his speed. It's Morgan Freeman, I think, right there in the Capitol steps. To you Rick, have a you know, wallet, oh, by oh, the way. Oh, oh, <laughs> down, oh, oh, down goes lot. And the top 25 also hears the hotty toddy chance now that Ole Miss cracks the top, cracks the uh, cracks the pole at top, at a 25. You see that lovely lady there? She does go to Auburn. I want to admit that. But she also, this Alabama, and that's A.J. McCarron's girlfriend, okay? And right there on the right is D.D. Bonner. That's A.J.'s mom. Wow, I'm telling you quarterbacks, you get all the good-looking <laughs> women. Ah, it's a, what a beautiful woman. Wow, he's A.J.'s doing Whoa. Some, some things right down So if you're a youngster in Alabama, start getting the football out and throw it around the backyard with pop. Huh. Yeah, you better do what we tell you. There's a sky full of strats. Better grab an umbrella. I make it rain. I make it rain on them homes. I make it rain. I make it rain on them roads. I make it rain. I make the highs and the lows. I make it rain. I make the rain and the snow. If I tell you a storm's coming, I'm not lying. Predict so well, you'd swear I'm a mine. As we go back down to the south, mostly clear, huh? Oh, my broom is backwards. Oh, that was on purpose. I don't get much practice at being a witch. Here we go. As we scan across... Oh! <laughs> the one nice thing about the Midwest when you get all those nice colors out there. And speaking of the colors, we have uh, Tyler, Me Tyler Weir. Thanks, guys. All of us... Whoop, there went my clicker. We are dealing with the intense portion of the cloud cover across the area. Okay, I'm just going to have to bend down and pick it up. Sorry about that, guys. Got a little excited about the rain. My clicker has broken because I dropped it a little violently. Manti Tail Girlfriend Bobblehead Night. The first 1,000 fans will get a box that we imagine will look something like this. Open it up and, of course, it'll be empty since the girlfriend never existed. There will also be a special section at the baseball park reserved for fans to sit with their imaginary friends. And there will also be an imaginary kiss cam. Right there. <laughs> Now, your Nineteen Action News first alert forecast. What was that? <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, I got some cold to talk about. <laughs> All right, so right here. <laughs> All right. Shower chances by the time we get to Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Thanks for the uh, hard to get applause, Nicole and Kevin. Yes. How's that, Carol? Is that good enough for you? Okay. <laughs> I'll try a little harder next time. Thanks so much. Ozzy is a father of 12. He has nine grandchildren and two great grandchildren. Wow. Good for Ozzy. Now, it may be his birthday, but Carol, when it comes to the weather, we want no monkey business, okay? All good things. It's 49 degrees <laughs> in Philadelphia, Nicole. Uh, we have a temperature of 30. I tried. Uh, you, don't, I know, you can't even give me that, can you? Uh, 38 degrees up okay. through the Allentown area. It nearly as great as it will be this weekend, Nicole. Well, Carol, I would say that forecast is bananas, but I know that's going to oh, be completely wasted on you. So I won't. Taking it back right now. All right, changing gears, 548 now. Carol, I understand you have some good news and possibly a halo behind you. Possibly a halo. Nicole, of it's course always, a halo. It always comes into question when <laughs> it's you and a halo. And I know, sentence. isn't it odd <laughs> that I'm the one always carrying this halo around? Uh, well, we have a beautiful start to the day, Nicole. For our time now, 6.30. Let's get you a check on weather with meteorologist Carol Erickson in the Weather Center. Nicole, Morning, Carol. it's just Perfect out there. Breathtaking. It's wonderful. We've Lovely got... like you, Kel. Oh, yes, exactly. <laughs> it's how I would describe it. It's me too. Yeah. I knew you would. Nicole. <laughs> well, Oscar winning actress Reese Witherspoon has admitted mouthing off to an Atlanta police officer, but now we're actually seeing it. Do you know my name, sir? You're about to find out who I am. I, I could see you pulling that whole, don't you know who I am? <laughs> Come on. You said you could. Don't, or you I, could. I could see you doing it. Oh, you, yeah, <laughs> I could you don't see know you me at all. <laughs> you don't know who I am. Oh, don't sorry. you know. See? 
Uh, yes, uh, that that was an interesting little exchange. I'm sure she regrets along with that last glass of whatever. So you can relax through Tuesday, Carol. Uh, I think on. you're off the I plan So on. enjoy those few days, Absolutely. okay? Because, you know, by Thursday, the rain, we may need you back. Just saying. All right. Carol, oh, great story, right? It's a wonderful story. And these dogs that do so much and serve so well, they've got to be brought back oh, to wherever absolutely. they've served and, and stay with their families. It's yeah. just, it's, it, they're human families. Mm -hmm. All the same. Nicole, do you notice? I don't see you anything. Didn't, you didn't? No. Call any attention to it? I um I didn't call attention to it because I know you it's don't been... see it. It's my halo. <laughs> it's been manufactured. Yeah, let's just put it that way. It's, it's awful when you have to call attention <laughs> to your own halo. It's the only way but... you're gonna get it. That's right. <laughs> Somehow or other. Yeah, it's Tornado Alley. They yes. named it that, w that way for a reason. But Carol, I'm looking at your shot, and it's just beautiful. Is that a why, halo? Why is this any different? I see. Uh, Nicole, you seem surprised every time Who you see this. ordered for that halo? I'm always surprised because you, you and Halo don't exactly go arm in arm. You've seen me in the hallway. This is always with me. <laughs> Everywhere. Uh, look at this. This is the sunshine that we have out uh, this morning. And it's going to, it, it's fine. It's comfortable. It barely burns the back of my head. But later on today, this is, I'm going to have to step away from the halo, I think, because this is going to be uh, a, a pretty oppressive sunshine. <laughs> Sounds good. Wendy, thanks very much. And that's all from the London team this evening. We're back tomorrow morning. Tonight, authorities say a Black Friday shoplifter in Grand Forks abandoned a cart full of stolen items and hit a store employee with her car as she sped away from the parking lot. Of course, you know, it was very funny, very, very early in the morning. Oh, wait a minute. Let's go look at this family. Come here. Woo! Oh! Oh! Wendy! Wendy! Come here. Now, those new shoes oh, are pretty. Oh, Wendy! Oh, man. That, that's a photographer, Darren Fan.